What's packing with you, Pack Nation? It's your man King Howie back with a breaking news video. Welcome back to Cage TV. Um, Josh Jones just tweeted out that he will no longer be playing for the Green Bay Packers this season after all of the small controversy during the offseason with uh, him asking to be traded due to the fact that he was a second round pick in 2017 and he wasn't getting that much play time and he felt the frustrations uh dealing with mike mccarthy and um mike petton who really who really didn't think josh jones was uh good enough to play in his scheme you know josh jones used to be a hard-hitting safety but we haven't seen any of that since he's been with the green bay packers missing tackles bad reads um his uh him talking crap through his social media outlets um went on a, a Packer podcast in Wisconsin and pretty much threw the Packers underneath the underneath the bus uh, saying, oh, if you, if you got a second round pick, why not play him? Why he not playing? Like, dude, <laughs> you're missing tackles. They forced you to try to play linebacker. You was not agreeing with that. Then once there was nobody to once there was nobody in the league that was willing to trade for you because the Packers did put you up on the trade block. It's just nobody wanted you. You know, they evaluated your film and just said, Oh, this dude look like looks like he don't have the heart to play the game. And like I said before, man, like I told y'all before, Packer fans, whenever a new coach comes in and they doing all of this switching around and shit like that. Out with the old, in with the new. Like I said, Brian Goodenkus is trying to get rid of all of the Ted Thompson bad draft picks. He's trying to get rid of them people, man. He's trying to get rid of those people. Um, I hope Josh Jones gets picked up on another team. He probably will. Probably wind up over there with the Patriots or some team in the AFC. Probably, I don't know. He'll wind up with some team in the AFC or some desperate team um, in the NFC. Probably might wind up with the 49ers or something like that. Or somebody who need a, a safety. But I'm not crying over this. <laughs> I mean... This is long overdue. Um, I wanted Josh Jones gone the first time all of this stuff came up with them trying to trade him and, and him asking to be traded. I was like, let him go, man. I mean, he's not doing anything to help the Packers out anyway. I mean, if they're not willing to start him, what's the point of keeping him around? If they're not willing to play him, what's the point of him staying around? He just collecting money and not putting in no work. But hopefully that opens up a roster spot to bring in somebody who really wants to be a part of this team and 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 not go on social media trashing the team and things like that and you know that 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 destroys locker rooms you know you going in there with an attitude and mad and you know just it just doesn't provide provide a great vibe in the locker room around around the guys you want remember J uh, Josh Sutton. He did the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Wondering why he not getting paid, doing things, causing things that's detrimental to the locker room and the, and the team morale, you know, saying a little smart stuff here. Every time they ask you a question, it's about, it's about getting paid. That's what Josh Sutton did, and he got kicked off the team. And I'm pretty sure Josh Jones was doing that too, talking to other DBs. Man, you better hope you get some playing time when you over here with the Green Bay Packers, man. You know, just it's things like that, you know, a little nitpicking type shit 
that, you know, just makes the team say, you know what, dude, just go. This is long overdue. Josh Jones should have been gone a long time ago. But you know how the Packers are with their draft and development. Hopefully we could get out of that, out of that old ass system and just spend the money in free agency, man. We just gonna have to with this team. We just gonna have to. Or we just gonna get what I think we really should do is get rid of the scouting guys. The Green Bay Packers scouting team is the worst scouting team. In the NFL, to me, next to the Buffalo Bills and um, some other teams that go out here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whew. The more and more I keep thinking about this Green Bay Packer team, the more I just keep scratching my head. I know that this is, I know that this is like a rebuild. We're refurbishing uh, the Green Bay Packer house, <laughs> renovating it. trying to uh, make this team tough enough to succeed and I'm starting to I'm starting to feel I'm starting to I'm starting to I'm starting to understand I'm starting to understand Matt LaFleur I'm starting to see his vision I'm starting to see his uh, his urgency with this team like you know, you you come into a team, of course, you've got one of the, the greatest quarterbacks in the league playing on the team, so that kind of eases a little bit of the pain. But when you look at the defensive side of the ball and you just start going over the, the numbers for the last eight seasons with this defensive, this defensive, uh, this defensive pack that the Packers put together, you just start scratching your head like, oh, my God, these guys are so far behind when it comes to defense. Oh, and before I end this video, I want to talk about the Raiders preseason game. NFL, shame on you. Shame on the NFL. You guys knew that we were going to be playing in Canada way before preseason started. And nobody ever had the desire or the mindset to go check the field out there in Canada? Nobody went to go check the field? Y'all didn't check the field before weeks before the game was played? Y'all knew that they were playing on a 110-yard football field. Y'all shortened it by 80 yards. <laughs> Y'all pulling goalposts out of the ground. Stepping all on the grass. All you smart... NFL personnel people, the grounds committee, y'all still let them play on that trash ass field. Y'all still let them play. Y'all should have just postponed the game. Didn't y'all do that last year? To the um what game was that? One of them games last year, I think it was the Hall of Fame. One of them games got canceled last year. Like y'all could have canceled the game, gave people their money back. But no. The NFL just wanted to get that exposure in another country. Just to say, oh, y'all got football, but, you know, we invading y'all with the NFL. Y'all just wanted that game to be played over there so bad. For the money. At what expense? Players being injured. And that's exactly what happened. Rashawn Gary injured. Some, I think another player got carted off the field. I'm like, come on, man. Ugh. But anywho, man, Josh Jones is gone, and all that means is the next guy that's going, that's going, that's taking over for his position, just gonna have to step the fuck up, man. They're just gonna have to step the fuck up. The more and more I keep thinking about this team, the more and more I keep seeing eight and eight. I keep seeing eight and eight. Oh, my God. I got to keep reminding myself that I'm giving Matt LaFleur and this bullshit team that they trying to. It's a rebuild team, man. I mean, I'm just giving them a pass the first year, man. I'm giving them a pass. Like I said, man, once these games start during the regular season, you're not going to see any type of raw emotion. I'm going to try to channel it deep within my Packer green and gold heart. 
the green and gold blood that runs through my fucking veins for this team. I'm going to have to harness the pain with my chakra. Okay, I'm going to have to harness it. I'm going to have to take deep breaths. <laughs> we already are seeing signs of what's to be with these with this defense missing tackles. So, uh Let's just see what happens, man, and um, tell them dead and cold, gray and old, it's always going to be green and gold. Go, Pat, go.